he can tell the people what we're doing. Uh, we're driving. Well, yes, but why am I sitting in a car with my aunt currently? In a Prius. And, oh, oh, I forgot about that. We're turning this video off. <laughs> the whole Prius statement just made me lose like 50 of my 100 followers. <laughs> no. Yeah, so Are that, that is a good question. Why am I sitting in a Prius right now? What would make me seem so low? What, what? <laughs> What could be so important that I actually chose to sit in this vehicle right now? <laughs> this is so wrong. This is my Aunt Cecilia. She's the one who gives me all the free coffee. This is why I drink too much coffee. It's actually her fault. Basically, uh, she drives a lot because she gets like 80 miles to the gallon. And so I asked her if she would be able to drive me to Sharifport because we're going to go look at this Miata for sale. And, and I love Miatas. I think I've said that in a video one time. I was just like, I love Miatas and I want one. And then I went and I found an RX-7 that I can't afford. It also should probably be duly noted that the initial plan was to go get coffee and now my aunt's taking me an hour out of town to go look at a car, so. But we'll go to a coffee shop there too. True, true. And then I'm gonna have to find a job. Okay, first of all, my hair is like, looks so weird right now, but good morning, fellow Jeepers. Um, except for I have a little, something a little different than a Jeep today. And I, I have some explaining to do, because, bruh, look at it. It's a trashy Miata. Also, look, <laughs> oh, I have so much work to do. This was a horrible idea. First of all, I need to get rid of these stickers. And then I gotta figure out why it's doing that. <laughs> So the guy who has this car, or had this car, basically wired everything directly to the battery. So like for example, right here, these cords are not original. They plug into the fans. There's cords that plug directly into the lights. Um, it's really, really interesting actually. And um, so that's why I need to do a lot of rewiring. Oh my word, this guy's an idiot. It is 2 a.m in the morning so this is friday march what's the date so friday march 29th 2 a.m working on the miata project um this wiring it i'm so confused guys it's uh connected to this here maybe that's why it only turns on so wait that red <sighs> i'm so confused i'm done <laughs> So this, this brown, dirty water is supposed to be my coolant. And this isn't even just draining it, this is after I drained it out, fill it up with the hose and I'm draining it out again and that's just brown water. And that's supposed to be my coolant. Yep, oh well. So the other day um, I took my brother for a test drive in the Miata, 
we had just replaced the battery because we found out the battery was completely dead. Well, it turns out while we were driving, the alternator completely died too. So, good news was, it was covered under warranty. The previous owner already had bought a new one in apparently October. And so I just grabbed a new one and um, I'm gonna put it in. It was like crazy though. We were driving and it died. So my dad jump started me and I didn't even get 100 feet before it died again. And it was just a repeating process. It was bad, but we got a new one now. So that's good. All right guys, this is gonna be the first startup with the Miata. Ever since I have changed the alternator, cleaned the throttle body, um, replaced the coolant, like flushed it and replaced it. So this is gonna be the first startup since then. Awesome. working on the Miata project. My hair looks fabulous as always, and um, I'm having fun. As you can see here, I'm doing wiring. It's, it's, it's fun guys, like, look at this. Look at that. That's, this is what I'm dealing with here. Oh, it's, it's grand actually, just damn, look at this. I got all this, this is a wiring, and this is the stuff I have to put in. This is a wiring I pulled out of a used Miata and I'm trying to install it all with no experience but like this stuff is annoying, it's a mess. I don't know what I'm doing so I'm actually just hoping that the car turns on when I'm done <laughs> and hopefully I can fix the AC. I probably should change the filter out on this because it is nasty. I'm making progress on the Miata, I'm having to uh, heat wrap every single piece to the fuse box because um, it was too. It was going to be a lot of work to unplug the whole fuse box, and this fuse box. Oh, this is the original fuse box, so I just cut it instead of hassling with it, which might have not been the best idea. I mean, I probably could have fixed the fuses, but he's got that mess in there, and so I figured I'll simply just cut this fuel box fuse box out. I said fuel box, and I'm going to plug it all in, and then hopefully after that, just clean up all this. I mean. All of that should be ready to go, it's just ugly, but I just need to make sure it runs and then I can fix everything going in the right place. As long as it turns on, I'm good and then I can just clean everything up, but here I am now. There you go, it's like brand new. Can't even tell anything happened to it, see that's totally the original one. And then watch, it doesn't work, I probably should have tested it before I taped it all up, oh well. The car's far from being done, but I want to see if it has... At least all the things to start. So, hope I don't blow myself up. It doesn't. It doesn't have all the things it needs to start. Guys, 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 guys. Yes, yes. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Ready? Oh. Oh. Okay. I did it. I need to replace the window bushings on the driver's side because. I mean, I'm 99% sure that's the problem. It is rattling like crazy when you close it. Opposed to the passenger side over here, just be like, open the door. Yeah, this one, I, it scares me every time. I swear I'm gonna break the window, so that's why it's dismantled and we gotta fix that ASAP, which means today. I found out that this actually didn't need the bushing replaced. <laughs> There was no bushing, so that would explain a lot. But also, I think the actual rattle is from that. That that would explain a lot, which is kind of annoying that it's something so small and simple. But, I mean, the bushing needed to replace anyway, so now it's replaced. Yay, progress. That's so stupid. Testing. Yay! It doesn't rattle now. It's awesome. Got grease on my fingers. Oh, 